If you want to hire top talent, you need to have an effective hiring process in place. In this video, we will teach you what makes an effective hiring process and how to implement a hiring process for your business. This video is sponsored by ZipRecruiter. Find quality candidates fast with ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter distributes your job posting to 100 plus job sites with a single click. Get started for free today by clicking the link in the description below. What makes an effective hiring process? An effective hiring process can look different in different businesses, but they all have three things in common. The first is everyone knows what's happening and what the next steps are. The second, job descriptions are clear. And the third, the recruiter or hiring manager communicates through the entire process. Here are the basic steps of a hiring process. You can add or delete steps to fit your company and the job. For instance, you may have a skill test for certain positions, or you may only have one interview for some entry-level positions. The first step is to write a job description. This is a critical step that you should never skip. Job descriptions should contain the essential responsibilities and essential requirements for the job. They should not include a list of 40 different tasks. You're looking for core functions, not a comprehensive task list. If possible, have the person who was last in the role write the job description. That may mean if they are someone who is resigning, writing a new job description as part of their work during their notice period. The next step is posting the job description. Where you do this depends on your unique circumstances. Sometimes it's enough to post it on your company website. If you get a lot of traffic, that can be enough. You may wish to post it on a free job board, paid job boards, social media, or target specific communities such as professional organizations or universities. Next is recruiting candidates. If your job postings do not bring in sufficient qualified candidates, you'll need to start recruiting candidates. This can be done in-house or by hiring an outside consultant. Now it's time to screen candidates. Before you waste time interviewing, screen out the clearly unqualified candidates and select the ones that look the most promising. Notify the rejected candidates that you think them for applying but will not consider them at this time. The next step in the hiring process is phone or video screening of candidates. This is often a short screening interview conducted by the recruiter to ensure the candidate is prepared to move forward. If you haven't included salary information in the job description, the recruiter should tell the candidate the salary range so the candidate can decide whether to continue or back out. Next up is a formal interview. These used to all be in person, but now a video interview may suffice. You may want the people on the hiring committee to be included in this interview. Remember to be very respectful of the candidate's time. The next step is evaluating candidates. If multiple people participate in the hiring decisions, you need to meet and look at everyone's evaluations and decide together who the best candidates are. If necessary, conduct a second round of interviews, but it is okay to hire after one round of interviews. Now it's time to make an offer. This involves a carefully calculated salary based on market rates contingent on a background check. Next is conducting a background check. You should outsource this to a professional background firm. A drug test may also apply here, depending on how your company operates and which laws apply. Background checks can include employment verification, education verification, criminal records, and so forth. The next step of the hiring process is to notify other applicants that you filled the position. Many people skip this step because they already have their new hire. Don't. It's rude and it will decrease your reputation. The final step of the hiring process is onboarding your new hire. This is not just filling out new hire paperwork. You must ensure the new employee receives the support and training they need to be successful. Now you may be ready to hire your next employee now that you've refined your hiring process. Consider posting your job opening on ZipRecruiter for free and start working to fill your positions. Click the link in the description below to post your first job opening on ZipRecruiter for free.